I read the manuscript and I had a knot on my throat. Uh, th this story is a complex story and even even at the moment I had many questions about it, but what was not question about is that this story was powerful. Uh, I, 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 I knew that this was a job that was, will require from me uh, to know how to in, interpret what I was reading and in order to put it in, in, in images and it was probably going to be challenging but more than anything else it felt to me that this was a story that needed to be done. Uh, that uh, um, I, I could not just not do it. I, I, I had to do it and I think that the best part for it is that from the very very beginning I felt that that story was for me. I felt that um, that I was a perfect, perfect person to do it, uh, and, and maybe, maybe for many reasons. One, because uh, because of my own vision of of the story and my own vision of of the world, and because I felt connected to it. Um, because because I felt that it voiced things that that I wanted to say as well uh, in picture books. Um, uh, I, I just felt like I was a perfect person to do this story um, and I wanted to go with it. I believe that the text does a really, really good job already uh, telling that this a strong connection exists between these two women, <laughs> a little one and an older one. Uh, the text begins saying, uh, is, is this moment where Suhaila asks about her grandmother and her mother says, uh, you know, you two had the same kind of hands. Um, and I think that it is marvelous for any child, for any child to recognize that they have something that comes from before themselves, that something has been, has been built in their family, in generations before already, that they are inheriting uh, something that is important, something that is beautiful, something that is valuable. And in this case, just knowing that uh, Suhaila is understanding that her grandmother has given her something, you know, even if it is just physical at this moment, but it, that eventually will become more than just physical because it's about being able to embrace the world with these hands that she has, which are very much like her grandmother's. And, and I thought that it was just right to the point to begin this story that tells us that um, what comes from before us uh, is something that we can look up to. You know, even if in this case, Suhaila's grandmother is not part of her life physically anymore. So she's curious about that. Uh, and, 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 and just the fact that she can discover how valuable and how beautiful and, and what a an storyteller her grandmother is, is also discovering something about herself. It's not something that is her grandmother and is separated. It's discovering that you are part of that, of, of being that family, of being part of those traits. Um, and who doesn't dream with their own child understanding those connections? Uh, and, and, and who doesn't dream of bringing together two people who might have never had an opportunity to meet and that will have loved each other very much if they had been together. Uh, it, I, I do dream with those things myself. So when, when the story uh, created the space to talk about these connections, I, I, I felt very fortunate to be able to hopefully give to other children uh, to other parents, to mothers and grandmothers, this opportunity to see themselves connected through this story, which is what always happens when we read children's books, um, to be aware of those feelings in ourselves and those connections that we have with our own families.